Hey Darklings, just me. Everyone should know that I'm a divination diva. Because of that, I want to bring attention to something that a lot of people gravitate towards certain divination tools and practices because they're familiar or said more often, like cartomancy with tarot and oracle cards or pendulums and things like that. These are the kinds of things that you see often. What you might not know is there are hundreds, if not thousands of different ways to do divination and many, many names. There are a lot that go unmentioned. I decided to do another silly video where we'll be examining some honorable mentions. You have to also remember that a lot of things can become a divination tool if you get creative enough. There are many things that even don't have names as a divination practice. Let's get to some of these honorable mentions, shall we? Warning, this video contains poorly constructed puns. If poorly made puns make you uncomfortable, consult your doctor today and choose not to watch this video. Also, this is a picture of me as a werewolf. Warning, always watch out for werewolves. So fun fact, I actually have a huge phobia of chickens and there is a name for that. It's actually a huge joke where I tell people I have electorophobia. There's also an electomancy, which is of course divination by rooster sacrifice, which to me would just totally be a cock-a-doodle don't. I mean, call me chicken all you want. I just can't do it. I just don't have the McNuggets to do that. A Ruspicina is actually divination by entrails. And that's when they called us, the CIA, and we figured we'd call you so you could take a look and see if you got anything. Yeah, ju judging, looking at his small intestine and large intestine right there on the pavement, um, I don't know, it's just, it's the way it looks. It's, it's, it's looking like he's going to have a really bad day. That's a symbol for bad day um, and, and feeling dead inside. Yeah. Does that help? There's Batracomancy, which is divination by frog. Yeah. Um, it's a toss-up. You're either gonna croak or your car is gonna be towed. There's Clemency, which is divination by shouts or cries in crowds. Let's go, Buffalo! I'd say they're Buffalo Bills fans. I am so good. Oh, should be a psychic. There's dactylomancy, which is divination by uh, finger movements. Is that guy flipping me? That guy is flipping me off. Hey! Hey, yeah, buddy! Yeah, listen! I'm really proficient in dactylomancy. Yeah, I know that. Watch this. Yeah? That means you really don't like me. Joke's on you, buddy, because I'm all known and stuff. I don't like you either. I'm saying it out loud because you, you won't be able to tell with your third eye. Yeah. Oh, you stupid mother. Papyromancy is divination by paper folding. You want me to answer that question? Hmm? Who knew paper could be so petty? I'm gonna answer fortunes like this all the time. Do you think I'm gonna have a new boyfriend? No, no I do not. Blah, 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 blah. Another interesting one is pillomancy, which is divination by uh, human hair strands, like clumps of human hair. I'm gonna take a shower. Hey, what the hell is this? Wait a minute. Huh, he's gonna clog the drain. I know this because I can see it in the hair because I'm a hair above the rest. <laughs> no one's ever here when I tell my best puns. There's nomancy, which is divination by blowing. Not that kind, you dirt bag. Don't make me cleanse you. I've got plenty of sage. By blowing. <laughs> Yay! Happy birthday! Blow out the candle! Holy shit, you're one year older. Don't ask me how I know. But I know. There's a crowd favorite, Scatomancy, which is divination by excrement. Mm-hmm. Yeah, from the looks of this, I'd say that your day is gonna be really shitty. And I'm sorry, but that stinks. Because I'm childish in nature, I could not stop laughing at Rumpology, which is divination by buttocks. Now, I'm not proficient in rumpology, but I would totally take a crack at that. Tyromancy is divination by cheese. Yeah, you heard me right. Divination by cheese. What can't cheese do these days? Hi. Hey, darling. Welcome to Subway. What can I get you? Yeah, can I have um, a foot long on wheat, please, with a chicken breast? Okay, and what kind of cheese would you like with that? Provolone, please. Mm -hmm. okay. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold that up. Hold that up to the glass. Okay, here. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, you, you, you better make this a meatball sub. Never mind, I changed my mind. Okay. Oh, okay. Don't ask questions. I said don't ask questions. This is Subway, not a schoolhouse. Last on my list is uromancy, which, you guessed it, it's divination by urine. 
All right, I'm just gonna swirl it around a little bit here. Yeah, it looks like someone's really going to piss you off. But you know what I always say? Rather be pissed off than pissed on, you know what I mean? Oh, mother Okay, that's all I have for you today, guys. I just wanted a little giggle, and I'm hoping that you got a little giggle out of this as well. Just a little disclaimer, too. I love history of divination. I love seeing long, long lists of methods, including these of divination, because they're so cool, and they're just so neat to research, and even though I'm making little petty jokes about them, I'm still really fascinated with every single one of these ones, and with any kind of form, because I'm such a divination diva, like I said. The Nation Diva. So if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you really, really like it. And you can make your comments and everything below as always. Um, I'm gonna wash this uh, fake pee off me, which I don't really have to because it's water. I swear. Just saying.